Hi everyone, welcome po sa video ngayon. No? At ang pag-uusapan natin ay contracts for difference no? or CFDs. Ano ba yung mga CFDs na yan? Kung mapapansin nyo, kapag nagtitrade kayo ng uh, Forex, no? you will also be able to see a lot of other instruments that you can trade with. So for example, may nakikita kayo minsan stocks, no? may nakikita kayo uh, ng mga indices, di ba? yung S&P 500, uh, Dow 30, may nakikita din kayo mga ibang metals, no? gold, silver, uh, may nakikita kayo energies no? like oil, and then uh, you may be even seeing some cryptos, yung mga ganyan. No? So, paano mo natitrade lahat yun in one platform? Diba? So, majority of those uh, instruments are called CFDs. No? So, ginagawa yan through CFDs. So, yung CFDs, again, that is short for Contracts for Differences. So, ano ba nagagawa niya? No? So, yung CFDs natin, it allows investors or traders, speculators, so kumari tayo, to participate in the movement of price no? without full ownership of the asset. Anong ipig sabihin nun? Ipig sabihin nun, nagtitrade ka ng mga contracts. No? So, may kausap ka, kanwari, ng broker. No, you have your broker with you and then sabi mo dun sa broker mo sige gusto ko bumili ng ano gusto ko makiride sa shares ng Apple sabi natin nagte-trade ka ng stocks no? pero syempre para makabili ka ng shares ng Apple kailangan mag-open ka ng account sa isang US uh, stock broker and then kailangan mo ng minimum deposit medyo malaki siguro parang mga 10k US yata yung minimum nila medyo malaki and um syempre ang daming regulations and everything it's it's kind of hard to be able to trade no uh, apple stocks nang talagang diretso doon sa kanilang stock market but what you can do is to trade CFDs instead no so kunwari nandoon ka sa broker mo sabi ng broker mo sige nag-offer din ako ng CFD ng apple no so ang gagawin natin is yung kontrata na tinitrade natin ngayon is a contract of Sabihin natin, 10 shares ng Apple. Ngayon, kung magkano man yung current price ng Apple ngayon, no, bibili ka ng 10 shares na doon nakalagay sa contract. Ngayon, whatever happens to Apple's price, pwede mo ibenta sa akin yan ulit. Kanwari, ang forecast natin, nasa $100 ngayon yung shares ng Apple. Ang forecast natin ay aakyat yan to $110. So, ang gagawin natin, bibili tayo ngayon ng uh, contracts ng Apple, no? CFDs ng Apple from our broker. So, yung broker natin, fine. Okay, sige, here's your contract of Apple that's worth 10 shares. So, binigayan mo yung yung bayad mo, quote-unquote, doon sa broker. So, you now have a uh, with you equivalent to 10 shares of Apple. You're only holding a contract, so you don't really have the actual shares with you. Pero, anytime, pwede mong ibenta ulit sa broker mo yun. So, sabihin natin, Tama yung forecast natin, umakyat, naging $110 no, per share ng Apple. sabi mo sa broker, sige, exit ko na tong trade na to. So yung broker mo, okay, okay, fine. So umakyat na yung presyo ng Apple. So the uh, the contract is back with the broker. Tapos, ili-liquidate na yung position mo. Kung kumita ka ng $10 per share, sabi natin, kumita ka ng ano, uh, 10 shares. So total yung tinrate mo, kumita $10 each, you now earn $100 from that trade alone. So, yun yung nangyayari no, with the uh, contracts for differences. Ngayon, what if natalo ka naman? Din, ganun din. Sabihin natin, bumagsak to $90 yung uh, current price ng current shares ng Apple ngayon. O, tapos sabihin mo, sige, broker yun ako na, liquidate ko na to. Hindi, ganun din, i-liquidate ng broker yun at the current price ng Apple. Okay? So, yun yung kagandahan ng CFDs. Hindi ka na kailangan magbukas ng account. As long as you're trading with a trusted broker, okay yun, you can execute your trades without any problems. Ngayon, ano yung uh, kumbaga caveats nito? No? Ano yung mga things to consider? No? Number one, it's over the counter. No? So you cannot transfer itong uh, contracts for difference ito. If you're trading with a particular brokers, anila mo lang pwede i-trade yun. Kasi if, di ba, baka yung iba sa atin dito, sanay kayo sa stock market, di ba, ano, dito sa Philippine stocks, um, Pwede kayong maglipat, di ba? Kanwari, may hawak kayong shares of a particular company, you wanna, you know, move it to a different broker, pwede yun eh, no? Pero if you're trading CFDs, you cannot do that. Talagang yung kung kay ninong broker ka lang nakikipag-trade with, no? So, it simulates, no, the value of the underlying asset, okay? Now, one of the best things about it is that it's cash settled. Ipig sabihin, pag niliquidate mo yun sa broker, it will be liquidated as cash. 
Bakit no? Pwede ba siyang hindi ma-liquidate as cash? If you guys are familiar with uh, the futures market no, kapag nagte-trade kayo ng futures market, uh, let's say you trade uh, orange juice. No? Kasi pwede mo trade ka ng commodities, eh. trade ka ng actual orange juice sa futures market. May expiration yung contract noon eh. So kapag hindi mo na-renew yung contract mo, i-deliver sa in kind no. So i-deliver sa yung orange juice. So, yun yung sinasabi ko na lahat cash settled, wala ang ganong klaseng problema. If you're trading oil, no, you're trading other types of commodities, kano ka coffee, nagte-trade ka, wala kang problema na i-deliver yung kape mismo dun sa bahay mo, no? So it will all be cash settled, no, even the ones with expiring contracts. Okay? So lahat yun cash settled. Ano ba, nag-expire ka ng contract, no? Ang mangyari, i-liquidate lang ng broker at that current price. So, yun yung kagandahan with contracts or differences. Kahit anong asset, pwede mo ngayong ilagay dyan sa CFDs. So, you can trade, you know, anything. You can trade equities, no, yung stocks. You can trade indices. Kaya yung mga S&P 500, Tau 30, pwede ka mismo mag-invest dun sa buong index na hindi mo na kailangan isa-isa yung stock, no? Na imi-mirror mo kung ano yung portfolio ng buong S&P 500. Sakit sa ulo nun, no? You can trade commodities, no? You can trade gold, silver, you can trade wheat. Uh, cocoa, wala kang problema sa mga gano'n, no? mabilis lang. Um, you can trade cryptos. No? So, yun yung kagandahan with contracts for uh, difference. Now, ano naman yung mga advantages and disadvantages? Yeah, Siyempre, compare yan, eh, di ba? Well, yung advantages is nyo muna, no? ano ba yung mga advantages niya? Um, you can go long and short. Ipig sabihin, kung sa tingin mo pakit yung presyo, you can go long, you can buy, no? and profit from that movement. You can also go short. Sa tingin mo, pabagsak yung ano ngayon pabagsak yung crypto market no you can actually short walang problema sa tingin mo pabagsak yung S&P 500 you can go short sa tingin mo may oversupply ng coffee edi pwede ka mag short eh so you can profit from a market that's going down number 2 is that you have leverage with CFDs no syempre hindi sagad yung leverage mo nakagaya ng sa FX na pwede tayo 1 is to 500 no 1 is to 888 di ba hindi ganun kataas yung leverage ng offer pero meron pa rin normally na sa mga 1 is to 10 1 is to 20 Depende sa tinitrade mo na uh, na instrument. no Mostly, kapag yung stocks nasa mga ganyan, 1 is to 10, 1 is to 5, 1 is to 20, siguro maximum na. Okay? Uh, in addition to that, execution is very fast. So, kumbaga, parang nagtitrade lang tayo ng FX. Kapag click mo ng buy, in a snap of a finger, you'll be able to execute your trade. No? Kasi pag nagtitrade ka sa US stock market, it's not gonna be that uh, fast sometimes. No? Uh, Lalo dito sa mga nagtitrade sa Philippine stock market, kapag walang nag-o-offer ng, uh, ng ganong klaseng uh, stock no at that particular price, you won't be able to get that trade. No? You have to wait for the price to move. Um, next is, mura lang siya. No? Very low cost compared to, kasi pag nagtrade ka through an actual exchange, syempre, may checks and balances yun. Mas mahal yun. Pag ganun. Pero pag over-the-counter mo lang siya tinitrade directly with your broker, then uh, significantly less yung ating uh, fees, no? Mas mababa yung cost. Talagang nasa spread lang. Now, uh, you can also trade lower contract sizes, no? So, yung shares ng tinitrade mo, may minimum yan, no? Pero, kung baga, kahit malit lang yung pera, mumakapag-trade ka pa rin. Especially, you're trading with leverage. Okay? And lastly, wala tayong physical delivery for the expiring uh, contracts, no? When you're trading with commodities. No? Ngayon, ano yung mga disadvantages, no? Siyempre, kapag nagtitrade tayo ng stocks, wala kang voting rights. No? Kasi hindi naman talaga hawak mo common shares. Eh, no? So if you're planning to do an aggressive takeover with the company, you can't do it through CFDs. No? Which is, uh, I guess, for us retail traders, we don't really care. No? Uh, number two is non-transferable positions. So kung nagtitrade kayo with a substandard broker, no? medyo alanganin yung broker, magiging fly-by-night, then, you know, that might not be a great idea. Go trade with uh, reputable brokers. Meron naman tayo dito sa PAFTI na mga re-recommenda. Wala tayong problema sa mga yun. Okay yun. No? We know them personally. We've been trading with them for a long time already. Okay? Um, next, uh, syempre, you also have to control yourself kasi it could lead to overtrading kasi you now have access to what? The US stock market, the European stock market, the crypto market on leverage, no? Pwede ka mag long and short. Ah, attempt talaga mag overtrade. But you know, you have to relax, no? go back to your trading plan, and you know, execute your trades well. No? Kailang mababal yung risk and everything. So you have to you know, calm yourself down a little bit. Meron din tayong swaps dito, pero malit na malit lang, to be honest. No? Uh, very, very negligible. So yan ang ating CFDs. So yan ang 
uh, you know, one of the best ways to trade uh, other markets aside from FX. At least yan, mabilis, no? It costs uh, very little yung mga transaction costs and you have access to, you know, huge, huge market. Okay? So, all right. Anyway, thank you, everyone. I hope that I was able to explain uh, CFDs a little bit better. Don't forget to like and subscribe dito sa ating uh, channel. And I hope you guys have enjoyed our video. Sana makagawa pa tayo marami nito. Okay? So, anyway, thank you, guys. And... I'll see you on our next video. Bye-bye.